undoubtedly common question that you you hear um, about uh, palliative care and hospice yeah. and uh, your recommendations and and really just the general you know concern and fear, honestly, of patients when it comes to pursuing palliative care or hospice uh, in a in a uh, metastatic uh, lung cancer situation. Thank you very much for asking this question. Um, this is actually one of the myths that I should have addressed at the mm -hmm. very beginning of the webinar. Palliative care and hospice, the first important point I will make is that these are distinct terms and concepts. Palliative care refers to a type of medical care that is provided aimed at improving the patient's quality of life by ameliorating symptoms that may be related to the cancer itself or related to cancer treatment. And it's aimed at reducing the suffering of patients overall. In lung cancer, we have data that showed that early engagement of palliative care, even at initial diagnosis, of advanced lung cancer, for example, can improve patient survival. Mm. Not only the quality of life, which is super important, but also survival. And so I personally recommend palliative care support as early as possible. Mm. Now, sometimes patients ask me, why are you referring me to palliative care? Isn't that for when cancer becomes much more advanced and there's no treatment options? And that is not true. Palliative care involvement is even more effective if they're following you longitudinally, even initially in the course when the treatment's being effective and successful, as early as possible is what I recommend. Hospice. Hospice is medical care for patients where cancer can no longer be effectively controlled using treatment modalities that we have available, whether it's with medications or radiation. And... Um, if all you know viable treatment options have been tried, but patients are too sick or weak, then we may layer on hospice support to help manage symptoms and minimize suffering. And this can also be provided not just at the facility, can be provided at home as well, if that is what the patient wants. If the patient wants to maximize time at home, then absolutely hospice support can be set up uh, to be delivered um, I think of it as like a maximal layer of support that can be provided beyond visiting nurse or beyond home-based palliative care. And so palliative care and hospice are very different. Palliative care, important to engage early on, even when you're initially first diagnosed with lung cancer. And then hospice is a service that we engage later on, but different layers of support. Okay, well, that's, um, that's very valuable, I think, for a lot of patients, and it's great to hear. Uh, doctors talking about palliative care early on. And I sort of, I vaguely remember what 13, 14 years ago when that paper came out uh, and it was uh, hopefully practice changing. Yes, absolutely. All right. Um, are there any other questions that maybe uh, you'd like to entertain? I, I've, I've gone through our community questions and my own questions. Uh, I just want to make sure that if there's something, something you want to address, it would be a great time. 